All right. It happened. Justin Fields is being traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers for a sixth round pick. It could become a fourth round pick. If he plays 51% of the snaps for Pittsburgh, wow. First reaction, just, I mean, the Bears got nothing in return for a really, really, really good player who I think, if you follow this channel, is on the up and up. I think his ceiling is high. People are saying it's low. I don't. I think it's high. I think with good coaching, he could have been one of the top 15 quarterbacks in the entire NFL. Like, I, this is an emergency podcast. Like, emergency show, whatever you want to call it. Because I had to hop on here and just talk through my thoughts and give you my thoughts. The first thought that I had, and I'm really, I'm looking at my Twitter page. Because I did a poll earlier, uh, yesterday, around 5 o'clock. Pacific time. And that poll was, do you think the Bears should keep Justin Fields or do you think the Bears should trade Justin Fields? In 26 hours of this poll, there have been 31,000 votes. It is easily the biggest poll I've ever had in my entire life. On Twitter, and it is legitimately 50 50. 50% says keep fields. I'm looking at it right now just in awe. And 50% say they should trade fields. There's over a thousand responses because I asked people explain why they voted the way they voted. And look, I just think that, in my opinion, you're this late in the game. You didn't have a lot of spaces to trade Justin to because all of them got filled up by other quarterbacks around the league. We had heard that Justin did not want to go and be a backup somewhere and that Ryan Poles was going to do right by Justin Fields. I do think Ryan Poles and the Bears did right by Justin Fields. However, I think they should have waited. I think they should have kept Fields on the roster. A sixth-round pick? The Bears got fleeced, in my opinion. That's what you get back for a guy and a talent like Justin Fields? Why not keep him on the roster? Look, they're going to draft Caleb Williams, whether you like it or not. But why are you letting good players go, especially a quarterback, and especially to the Pittsburgh Steelers where he's going to be a backup quarterback because Russell Wilson's there. Oh, by the way, the Steelers are paying $1.21 million for Russell and 3.3 million for Justin Fields. So four and a half million dollars. The Steelers quarterback room has been completely remade. You trade Kitty Pickett, you get rid of Mason Rudolph, you have Russell Wilson and Justin Fields gives you the best one, two punch. I think overall in the entire NFL and Justin is without a doubt, easily the best backup quarterback. Now in the NFL, they're saying that Russ is going to be the starter. I don't know about that. Like, I don't know about that because Justin, what he's able to do, I think he's going to come in there. He's going to compete. Steelers fans, if you're listening, you guys got a good one. But I go back to my original point. Why in the world? And I know, I know this, but why in the world are you not holding on to Justin? Hold on to him until training camp or until preseason or even a couple weeks within the season. There were 13 maybe 14 starters that got hurt. Three separate teams used their third string quarterback. You don't think that teams are going to be out there in the trade market. The, the bears could have gotten at least a third or a fourth for that. That's why I don't understand. That's why I don't get it. It's just puzzling to me when you actually run through the scenarios and look, I, I understand that they're probably saying, well, look, no, they're not saying they're, they are saying that, Look, Caleb Williams is going to be number one. It, it's uh, it's going to happen. I'm going to do breakdowns on him the rest of this offseason for all you Bears fans out there. But when you take Caleb Williams, you're saying 
to Justin and the entire team, those two can't coexist. Like that's, that's bottom line. What it is, is they don't want Justin having to deal with this, knowing that he's going to be the backup. Because when you take a quarterback, number one, first of all, you're not trading it. So say hello to Caleb Williams. They were going to pick Caleb Williams all along. It was just, what were you going to do? And I don't know what it says about Justin because there's 31 other teams in the NFL that did not give up a day one or a day two draft pick. It's crazy to me. I don't understand. Look, in reality, let's be real. Like this was always going to happen. And Chicago fans, no matter if you want them or if you like them or if you hate them or if you wanted to see them trade, like I just really wish that he has a successful NFL career because quite honestly, like he's such a good dude. And, and honestly, it's going to be really hard for you Bears fans to get behind Caleb Williams. And I get it. Like Justin was beloved and he was tough as nails. He played well. He got the fan base behind him. They went on a roll at the end of the year. They were a couple games out of the playoffs for crying out loud. But when you do this, like, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. And then you talk about who won the trade. The Steelers easily won the trade. The Steelers have Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, plus a sixth round pick that become, that could become a fourth round pick. If Justin plays 51% of the snaps, Justin's going to play. Mark my words right now. I said it on the Chase Daniel show. Justin will play this year. I guarantee you whether it's because of injury, which we're, we don't hope on this channel for any injuries, or if it is bad play by Russell, Justin's going to get his chance to shine. And I really do think that. But right now in Chicago, you have Tyson Bajent. Go to ESPN.com. You have Tyson Bajent as your starter in the latest depth chart, and Brett Rippon. I love Brett Rippon. He's going to be great for that room. But you have Tyson Bajant, Brett Rippon. You better really hope that Caleb hits. And, and I did, I've done one breakdown, and it was his worst game of his career. It was against Notre Dame. He still threw some dots. We're going to break down some good games. But you better hope this fits because at the end, it's just uh, like, man. So we're moved on. What it, what about Caleb Williams? What what does Caleb Williams bring? I think Caleb Williams brings some moxie. I think he brings a really strong arm. Uh, like mentally, I, I think he's there. Uh, I think he's smart. But he's a rookie. Like there's been very little rookie quarterbacks in the first round on the last decade that have made it. And it's just such a crapshoot when you evaluate quarterbacks. You don't know what's going to happen. Who knows how they're going to end up playing? And this is this is Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus, who's my guy because he played. I played for him uh, in Missouri. He was a defensive coordinator. I really like him. I think he did really good things with the defense last year. But this is his chance. If this doesn't work out, if the Caleb Williams experiment doesn't work out, then both of them are going to be gone. Like it's just it is what it is. But I do. I just love the fact that the Bears went out. And, and who they got in free agency, like Keenan, Keenan Allen, like Swift, DJ Moore, Cole. You guys have amazing skill players, but at the end of the day, it always comes down to the quarterback in the NFL. Look, thanks for listening to my rant. I just felt like I really needed to get on here to give you some real, like true emotions, some thoughts on what had happened. Stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you subscribe. We appreciate you. Comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this decision. Really appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you soon.